Okay, so this um, is to show you the informed consent section. Everybody has to have this. This should be the absolutely the first thing before you get to the survey. So for this, um, here it says, I have the informed consent. I just copied mine in, so I didn't make any changes to it. So this is just the template. So you should have the options, I agree or I do not agree. If you don't have that, you might need to change your, your question choice. So if you're clicked into the question, you can go to this question choice here and you can go to multiple choice. So I agree is one option. I do not agree is another option. So now what we need to do is we need to branch our survey. So we're going to use um, survey logic. So we're telling the survey what to do in different cases. And what you do is you go over here where it says survey flow. And you can see what the blocks are. So we have the informed consent and then demographics in my example here. So what I need to do is I need to click here. And I'm going to say add below. And I'm going to do a branch. So I'm going to click branch right here. And then after I click branch, I need to click add a condition. And it says question. And yes, I want to use a question to make my decision. The informed consent is the question I'm going to use. So you want to choose your informed consent question. And then I need to say, I do not agree. So if I do not agree is selected, we're going to have it kick them out of the survey. So if they say, I do not agree to participate, then we don't want them to take it. So we're going to say, okay. And then what you'll do is just add a new element here and you say end of survey. So now if I say apply and I go back to my survey, I could preview it. Let's take some minute here. Okay. So I can preview this and it'll show you what it looks like on a phone. But if I click, I do not agree. And I click the arrow here. It says, we thank you for your time spent taking the survey. Your response has been recorded. So it kicked me out. So that's perfect. So then I can just close this preview. So again, that is how you should set up the informed consent. If you need to, you can always go back and watch this again.